Hey folks, so today I'm going to talk about three different ways of serving models for use in your Gen AI applications. The first is going to be from the cloud, the way you're probably doing it today, using an API, whether it's the Gemini API or you know something from OpenAI or Anthropic, it's from the cloud. The second is going to be from your machine using Olama and open source models. And the third is going to be directly inside of the browser, uh, thanks to WebGPU. So let's get started. Now, I have a chat application that allows me to switch between these three different ways of serving models. And we're, as I said, we're going to start off with kind of the cloud and just being able to pull responses down from a server. And what I'm going to type out is uh, write a poem about a magical cat uh, exploring a forest. So hopefully it's going to return me something amazing or trippy. Uh, but here we go. Okay. With a leap and a bound, the cat takes flight into the water's embrace, enveloped in light. Oh my gosh, it's great. All right, so um, I don't know if this is going to win any awards, but it's good. Uh, and like any chat app that you've probably um, uh, you know, experienced, you're going to be able to ask follow-up questions. So I can ask it, you know, what are breeds or kinds of cats that would be good for an illustration to go around, go along with this poem? And uh, it will quickly give me a response. So here it was telling me, like, uh, Maine Coons are, are a, an interesting option to consider. Um, I can also ask it to, like, rate this poem. How would it rate the poem that it's written? And it thinks highly of itself. It's given it an 8 out of 10. Now, as I said, nothing too special about this, this first part of what I want to show you. Um, this is very much how you're probably used to seeing, you know, a lot of uh, chat uh, AI clients uh, working. But if you do want to use the Gemini API for doing this yourself, head on over to ai.google.dev. You can get an API key in AI Studio. And the team has also got really good documentation, whether you're using Python or JavaScript to, you know, wire all of this up and, and get it working nicely. So that's, that's sort of using models off of the cloud. Generally speaking, especially large models, very, very capable models, things that require a lot of processing power, you are going to want to be able to serve those off of that kind of infrastructure. Now, for smaller models, um, things that you can pull down and run on your local machine, Olama is amazing. It allows you to pull down open source models, manage them on your machine, and it also supports kind of exposing them um, over an API locally so that you can use them in, in something like a chat app. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. So I'm using Google's Gemma open source model. I'm using the 2B variant, and I'm asking it, write me a summary of the movie Inception. So it's going, it's processing, and just like that, I have a response back. It's got a summary of the movie. Um, it talks about Cobb. I don't know if it mentions Leonardo DiCaprio in here, but it's a reasonable summary. And all of this was computed like very, very quickly. You'll notice that the latency was very, very um, good here in this case. And I can, you know, again, I could ask it follow-up questions if I wanted. But one of the benefits of being able to run these models off of your local machine is that there's no network calls that have to happen. Um, do check out uh, models like Gemma. There are lots of really fantastic open source models available at the moment. Gemma uh, comes in both 2B and 7B uh, variants, and uh, I, I recommend checking them out. You can use it on Hugging Face as well. Uh, Hugging Face has got a whole doc about uh, the Gemma models um, from Google, so do check them out. Um, I'm actually using Hugging Face for pulling down Gemma for the next thing that I want to show you, which is running models directly inside of the browser. Now, uh, this is powered by WebGPU, and in a browser that supports WebGPU, uh, we can actually do this. We can pull down open source models from Hugging Face, and then I can start uh, you know, uh, asking questions like translate hello world to Spanish. Uh, so, hola mundo. It was able to do that very, very fast. So similar to our Alama setup, we're running this model locally, but now we're doing it directly inside of the browser. No need for additional tooling layers. And I can go and I can verify the translation in, in you know, Google Translate. Um, there's some fantastic articles about WebGPU in case you're interested in the details of how these things work. Um, but I also want to give a, a shout out to the Web LLM uh, work that's been happening in the community here. Fantastic. Anytime an open source model uh, that's capable comes out, they just start looking at like, how can we get this working in the browser um, in a way that's stable and, and, and uh, efficient? So those are three ways that you can uh, go and, and use models um, in the cloud, uh, on your machine, and in the browser. 
also working off of a, a local model. Now I want to show you some code. Uh, first of all, we've got how do you call the Gemini API. This is fairly standard. Um, I, I'm a JavaScript developer. Uh, I use TypeScript, so this is this is how I use it. Nothing overly complicated here. I also wanted to show you this cool pattern that I'm using for being able to detect whether to serve something in the browser um, or fall back to something else. So my code here, this is where I'm pulling in, you know, from Hugging Face, uh, the Gemma 2B model. And there's a very specific pattern that I found interesting here. I can detect if a browser supports web GPU. If it does, I can go and I can process my prompt using the open source model, the one that's local on my machine. And if it's not supported, I can then go and call out to the network. I can call out to the Gemini API and still be able to deliver a, a, a user experience. And maybe that can help me with my um, server bills and, and scaling and things like that. But having this raw power, having the options are really phenomenal. Also wanted to show you very quickly how I'm using Olama. Some great packages here available from folks like Langchain and um, lots of great work in the community that's been done around building reusable React components for these kinds of AI chat uh, clients. But uh, all of this is, uh, is open source and something that you can check out. Um, I just wanted to show you that there's really a lot that you can do in terms of model serving today. And I feel like we're just getting started here. So I hope this video was helpful. Do check these resources out. Thank you.